Warning, this video may contain graphic content such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Unfortunately, YouTube won't allow that, so we'll try what we can. Please be over 18 to view this video, and don't say we didn't warn you. Endlessly searching for an original Hey guys, and welcome back to Paprika Trainer. That's right, we've got an update. And this is an untested update, which means I get to break the game. I like breaking the game. Let's see. Let's see if I can load my own one. There's a skip button. Let's uh, let's visit and see if they have any dialogue. Okay. Let's chat. Time for another chat. Yeah. What did you want to talk about? Well, I'd like to know more about you. How's the accent thing coming along? Takes a lot of effort, but it's getting there. It only took a world-ending scenario for me to unlearn it. You mentioned wanting to get rid of the Valley Girl accent, right? Yeah, I can't say it has done me a whole lot of good in the past. With the accent comes the stereotype of being a bimbo, plus being blonde didn't help. A lot of people just see me as a dumb blonde who's obsessed with shopping. You're telling me you're not? Err... Well, okay, shopping is important, but there's more to me than worrying about where the latest sale is. Yeah, like what? Like... Err... Like... You can't think of anything, can you? Wow. I must have gone... I must have gone... I must have gone along with the stereotype for so long that I've become the very thing that I didn't want to become. I think it's over. Think it over. We'll talk again soon. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Let's visit. Alex is the blonde, right? Let's check. No, no, that's one. So, Alex. Hi, new guy. I thought we should maybe get to know each other a little better. You want me to show? You want me to show my boobs again? What? No. I mean, unless you want to show your boob be No! No, of course not. <clears throat> Why not tell me about yourself a bit? Alex, what are you do? My uh, no. I hate you. You did this on purpose. My name's Alex, I like to play music eating cotton candy. I can't do it. My name's Alex, and I like to play music, cotton candy, visiting theme parks, and then all over the colors. I also love puppies and baby kittens and adopting pretty much everything. I'm not, I can't, oh, no, 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 I can't do it, man. You, you hit something I can't do. Okay, okay, hold up. One thing at a time. Oh. Though you're rambling, I think I heard you like to play music. Yeah, I like, I play instruments. That's pretty cool. Are you any good at it? Yeah. Whoop, taught me taught me for one of our missions. We went on stage to play the opening number for Ricky Mathis. Who? The pop idol? What? Have you been living underground for the past few years or something? Uh, never mind. Let's get back to the instruments. So what type of music do you play? Rock and roll. Really? Yeah. I play electric guitar, bass, drums. Perfect for playing rock. I'm surprised. I more picture you as a nursery rhyme type. I'm not eight, new guy. Could've fooled me. Hm. I'll have you know that I can be very mature if I want to be. I just don't want to be. Fair enough. All right, good chat. We'll talk more later. Mm hmm All right, so uh, let's go to bed. A night passes and all is quiet. Now, as always, X is coming, my dear, dear friend. Didn't tell me jack and shit about what's going on. Business meeting. With all the girls unlocked, you can now begin expanding the menu for your bar. When calling a business meeting, you and the girls will throw out suggestions to add to the menu. These menu options are often more risque, causing the customers to pay more for them. Meaning the more menu options, you'll make more money. New op menu options are turned on by default, but you can turn them off if you find them too risque and prefer your spies to not perform them. 
To call a business meeting, simply visit the bar during the daytime before you send the spy on their daily job. Then select the business meeting option. If there are no options for the menu, then train your girls up a bit more. More options are unlocked as your spies get sluttier. Slutier. I said slutier. Um, hmm. Sam here. Going incognito. Understood. Yeah? Understood. You got it. Miko does not like this. She's being a talking yes, monkey. Ooh. Anarchy, Alex. Okay, Alex, you're heading back to the Outsiders today. But... No buts. Honestly, I'd expect better from you, Alex. Hmm? Judging people on their appearances, emails deserve love too, you know. They do? Not really. Yeah, of course, everyone does. That's not what Whoop taught us. We're taught not to feel any sort of pity or remorse for our opponents. That's dark. Okay, it's a little dark. <laughs> Alright, you can tell that I like certain, certain two writers of these games. If they want to be loved or understood, they should have thought about that before turning evil. Harsh. Just go over there and hug that emo for me. Okay. Here I go find a goth. They're more fun. Alright, I'll go find an emo. Jeez. Alright, so do we have any missions for ourselves? Let's go wandering. Now again, I want to be honest and I want to thank X is coming for letting me test a lot of this game. Mostly because I enjoy breaking games. I'm playing this one. You spend the day exploring the city. And then I totally... Okay, so we've seen this. We can just skip. I don't know if he's at it anymore. All right. I think Drift Punk really are my people. They enjoy music, intelligent conversation, discussing politics. I mean, obviously they're wrong about all these things, but it's good to have a dialogue. Oh, you're that type of person. I'm back from working with the Aces. Here's my report. They got a chocolate fountain. And not just a regular one, a big gigantic one with Belgian chocolate. Ooh, it's so dreamy. Of course, nobody had any because, you know, we had no longer fit in our, we no longer fit in our designer clothes, but just being this close to one felt like a blessing. Also, forgive me, my voice is still messed up. I'm back from working with the outsiders. Here's my report. Oh, my back hurts. Worked hard? Yeah, they smuggled guns into the city and I had to help them carry them. More guns as if we didn't have enough trouble to deal with. Yeah, they were giving... They were giving out to their... They were giving out to their supplies and probably hit the streets soon. We gotta be careful. Well, at least we know. Okay, Alex, tell me about your day with the outside. Nevermore. What? King Kong? Alex, are you scaring me? Oh, the raven from Edgar Allan Poe. What the hell are you doing? Today I learned a poem about a raven. Oh, you're quoting, you're quoting Edgar Allan Poe. Not sure what I expected sending you undercover with goths. Look, there's a difference between goths and emos. So how was it? Well, I tried being more open today and talking to some of them. They shared their poetry with me. I tried writing some myself, too. A poem call I call Candy Cavity Calamity. Wanna hear it? I'll pass. What do they think? Well, someone said it was childish. Then someone else said it was ironic. Then someone else said it was post-ironic. I don't really understand what they meant, but they seemed to like it, saying it had much deeper meaning. I'm still trying to figure out the deeper meaning. <laughs> well, at least you participated in their activities today. I'm going to keep sending you undercover. Try your best to blend in. Nevermore. Are you objecting or are you quoting? Quote the ra- Quote the raven. Nevermore. You sigh and usher the squawking spy to her cell. Let's 
also talk to a few of them. Hey, new guy. Hey, Sam, I wanted to talk to you about your role in the Aces. My role? Yeah, how are you getting on with your undercover missions? How is your reputation with the gang? Well, I'm only a new member and things have been rough. They can smell money from a mile away and they can tell I don't have any. But they allow you to stay? Well, some of them have taken a liking to me, I guess. The same way you feel when seeing a stray puppy. They've taken me in but haven't really accepted me yet. Any idea how we can get their trust? How we can win their trust? And don't say money because we don't have any. I'm mostly hoping for a chance to prove myself. Proof. Prove. Myself. They already invited me to their castle in Spain, so I think there's hope. It really puts my acting chops to the test, though. I can't stand being around them and their... and their careless waste of money. Let's just give it... Let's just give it time. You might get close to them and... to them the better you know them. I hope so. So I'll start sending her to the Aces. Hello, Clover. Have you thought about what we talked about last night? Yeah, it's a little disturbing to think about, to be honest. Whenever I think hobbies, I keep ending up with the same three things. Which are fashion, beauty, and boys. You really are a bimbo. Hmm? I... I kinda am. What did you like to do when you were a kid? Hmm. I was never really into sports, but I got pretty good at... Taekwondo when I joined Whoop. Maybe I could practice that and become a cool kick-ass fighter who doesn't take shit from anyone? That's as good as a place to start as any. Good chat, Clover. You focus on your training and let me know how it works out for your next time we for the next time we talk. Clover gives you a determined look and nods. Alright, let's talk to Alex. Hello again, new guy! Hey, Alex, figured we'd continue our chat from last time. Sure, but want to see me do a handstand first? You seem to have a lot of energy. Being locked up down here must be hard on you. <laughs> Damn you. I know it's a tough situation, but we just got to work through it. It is in times like this that you have to be able to rely on your friends and allies to get through the darkest of time. Can you stop walking around on your hands, please? Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were talking. On second thought, you seem to be doing fine. Actually, it's really rough being locked up in here. But if I rely on my friends and allies, I can get through the darkest times. Good chat, Alex. Until next time. Oh, I'm leaving already? Alright, new guy. <laughs> Alright, so I don't have any of the codes for, the, uh, for that yet. I wonder where the new guy hides his spy camera. Or, sorry, wrong voice. I wonder where the new guy hides his spy cameras. Hey, new guy, you're not spying on me right now, right? I'll take that as a no. Today has been crazy. I've got so much work done. Gold star for Clover. Maybe I should work hard more often? I didn't know it could be this rewarding. But probably not. They say stress causes wrinkles. Alex is playing a game on her phone. Huh, take that empty calories. You won't be tempting me anymore. Hmm. Do we have any new things we can get medicine? Okay, so that's things we can get. That's cool. I see that. Menobot injection. I don't think. Okay, we can't do anything there. We don't have enough. We have enough for that. We got that. I don't want to buy anything. So we got some of that. We're probably going to go on a mission soon. Let's have a business meeting. Business meeting! Okay, no business meeting. False alarm. Alright, so let's call it for that one. Hmm. Alex here. On my way. Uh huh. Do you have a mission with them? 
Are you getting used to going undercover with the aces? I don't think you can ever get used to the aces. The amount of money they have, it's kind of intimidating. It goes further than fancy cars or jewelry. These people could buy half the city if they wanted to. Which makes it even more disgusting that they seem to get a kick out of stealing instead. They're just doing it for the thrill. Let's teach them a lesson and put them behind bars. Sam nods and heads out. I'm here. Living in a database. Clover, go visit Draft Drift Punk again today. Nah, no need. They said they're testing something new today and don't need any help. Then I definitely want you to go. What's with this new thing that they're testing? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. I, I don't know. Then we're going to find out what's, what they're up to. Sneak into their base and report back on what you find. Aw, so much for my day off. So we have several quests going at once. We're gonna do one last exploration and then one more day here. Well, one night, I guess, and then we'll call it for this episode. You spend the day exploring the city. Digging through the supply crate, you find 13 food. After stashing it, you return to base. Well, that's neat. We now have that. Sam, you look upset. What happened? Well, here. Sam hands you a $100 bill. What did you have to do to get this? We went to a fancy restaurant today. One of the aces made an unreasonable demand on our wa demand of our waiter. When he wouldn't comply, the aces dumped their food on him. They mocked him for being a bad waiter and waved a $100 bill in his face. Told him that this was supposed to be his tip, but they gave it to me instead. So yeah, that happened today. Don't let it get to you too much. Head back to yourself for now. Why didn't you just sneak it to the waiter when no one was looking? Sam slant slanters off to herself. No clover? Beep, beep, beep. Hmm? That's, that's binary. What the? Scared ya? Clover, was that binary? Where are you? Oh, you're not gonna believe this. I'm inside your phone. What? Turn on your spy camera. Turn on, yeah, spy, oh, why? You'll see. Beep. Whoa. Welcome to this place. Where are you? Remember that new thing Drift Punk was testing? This is it. It's some kind of cyber world. A what? A completely digital world. Members digitalize themselves and are transported here. That sounds dangerous. Get out of there and report back. No, not yet. The punks are showing off this technology to one of their higher ups, and I just want to get a good look at them. Sounds like a good way to get yourself captured, but all right. Clover out. That's really cool, actually. You just say fuck off to Alex? Well, we did, apparently. I'll see you guys next time for more of the game. Once again, if you guys want to support this game, you can go to Access Coming on Patreon and support that, support him there. And if you want to support me, of course, I've got the Patreon and Subscribe Star. We have physical rewards like t-shirts and uh, mugs and stickers and posters on the Patreon. Or you can check out our Redbubble store, which will be linked in the description. If you're on other sites, uh, just hop over to YouTube and you can find all those lovely, lovely links. Or even bitch you. Bye guys. This is a no-go. I just can take hope. This is